Okay, open settings in your Android device and search for about phone or about device. Then you want to find build numbers. Tap it multiple times until you get a prompt for password. Type in your password and then you will see a message that developer option is turned on. Now come back and search for developer option. Scroll down until you find USB debugging. Switch on USB debugging and press OK. Now you want to connect your device with your computer using cable. You can enable transfer and then press OK. Now you can see your device name as available devices. You can select that and click on run, run without debugging mode. Nice, we have our app running in the device. Now let's see how to run it wirelessly without USB cable. To do that, go back to settings, developer option and find wireless debugging and switch it on and then tap it to see IP address and port number. Now in your computer, open CMD and type in ADB. If you don't get these options, go to your C drive and then users, click on username and then make sure that hidden files are enabled. Next, open the app data, click on local and Android folder inside there you would want to open SDK and inside there you will have platform tools folder open there and you can see the adb.exe here copy the path for this folder open environmental variable and in the section of user variables find out the path and click on new paste in the path for this folder and click ok OK and you're done. Now you can restart your CMD and then type in ADB. You will get these options. Still, if you don't get them, you can simply drag this adb.exe into your CMD and press enter. You will have these options. Now in CMD, type in ADB space connect space your IP address colon port number as it's shown in your device and then press enter you'll be connected to your device wirelessly once you have successfully connected you can unplug your usb and then try to run if you don't see your device here again it's because you were connected with usb and now you have to connect again you can run the same command again and if it failed check for the new port from your device and then enter new port and you can press enter it will be connected now you can run your application in the device all right the app is running here and if you still could not make the adb you can simply copy the adb into your project folder and then open cmd into your project folder type in adb.exe space connect space your ip address colon port and it should work the same way so this is how you can run your application in your real device with cable or without cable now let's proceed further